Today I'm installing PHP on Windows Server 2012 with IIS 8 and SQL Server 2012. The first piece I'll install is IIS, Open Server Manager, click Add Roles and Features, select the web server role and any features it requires. On the role services page, I can configure which components of IIS are installed. Right now I'll accept the defaults. And the installation is completed. I can test it by using Internet Explorer. and the IIS demo page loads. The next component to install is SQL Server. I'm installing the Express Edition of SQL Server 2012. The installation is a standard Windows installation with extracting an archive and accepting a license. And it takes a very long time, so I'll pause the recording and return when it's time to configure SQL Server. The setup program has been extracted and started, and I'm at the SQL Server configuration stage. For feature selection, I accept the defaults. On the Instance Configuration page, I'm going to leave the default named instance. Named instances are fully supported with the PHP SQL ser Server driver and with PDO and there's really no reason not to use them. On the database engine configuration page, I'm going to change the authentication mode to mixed mode, which will let me log in to the database with my integrated Windows credentials or with SQL Server authentication. And I have to set an SA user password. On the data directories tab, I could change the directory where SQL Server will store its database files. I'm going to leave the default, but I'm going to copy the directory to Notepad because I'm going to need it again later. We'll skip configuring reporting services for now and not send error reports to Microsoft. SQL Server 2012 finished installing. The next thing I'm going to do is copy and install the AdventureWorks 2012 sample database. The database replaced the older Northwind Trader sample database that came with Microsoft Access and is a free download from CodePlex. So I'm going to copy the file to the default data directory that I specified during the installation, and this is why I saved it. Now that the file is copied, I need to attach it to the database. I'll open a command prompt. Run SQL CMD E for external authentication, which means I'll connect to SQL Server with my with the domain user that I'm logged in as, in this case the domain administrator, and the server.
which is both the server name and the named instance. I connect. So this command told SQL Server to create a new database called AdventureWorks 2012 using the MDF file that I copied. SQL Server created a new log file and attached the database. Now the last thing I have to install is PHP and this is actually the easiest. PHP is a component which can be installed through the web platform installer which is a Microsoft tool to automatically download and install various web-based components for IIS. The WPI takes care of downloading PHP, configuring it, satisfying any dependencies, and configuring IIS. There's no more config files to modify, no more IIS features to enable. It's all automatic. In the search box, I'll search for PHP. I'm going to install PHP 5.4. and the Microsoft drivers for PHP for SQL Server. And I click Install. WPI will prompt me to install the dependencies. And PHP is installed. You can see the WPI automatically added the CGI component for IIS, and it automatically installed URL rewrite. I'm going to test my installation with a few sample scripts that I, that I wrote. The first one simply runs PHP info and dumps the results out to the browser we can see that PHP is in fact installed and running. The other script called adventureproducts.php uses PDO to query the sample database I installed earlier and in this case returns a list of products pr produced by AdventureWorks.